Hello to everybody. I am uh, Dan Popescu, a professor, PhD at the Bucharest University of Economic Studies in Romania, and I will present to you our uh, work paper titled Undergraduates and Postgraduates Heavy Work Investment, a good or a bad phenomenon. The main objective of our research was to analyze the significance and effects of heavy work investment at individual and social level, as well to quantify the impact of workaholism and work addiction on the human existence. The quantifications refers to the connection between the phenomenon of the ever higher dedication to work of the young generation and the results of their work. Our main hypothesis was that the heavy work investment of university students and graduates leads to workaholism, which in its turn has a negative impact on the quality of their personal and professional we added four secondary hypotheses as follows. The first one, the inclination toward heavy work investment is cultivated ever since childhood through the education received within the family. The second one, the individual's heavy work investment is also the result of the influences exerted by the environment, such as the fear of feeling embarrassed in front of others. The third secondary hypothesis is that the individual's heavy work investment has deeply negative effects on their psychological health. Finally, the fourth, the individual's heavy work investment is also stimulated by their need as educated people that their place, role, and social usefulness should be acknowledged by the others. So we use a quantitative approach based on the use of statistical and mathematical methods using data obtained from a survey carried out with the help of a questionnaire which was distributed online. You can see inside the link. The sample using the quantitative analysis included university students and young graduates from our four biggest university centers in Romania, from Bucharest, Cluj-Napoca, Iași, and Timisoara. In order to obtain the sample we use, quota sampling, which is a non-probability sampling method, combined with the snowball method. The questionnaire was distributed exclusively online so as to offer the respondents the possibility to express themselves freely without the feeling of being constrained to answer in a pre-established way. You have here in uh, table 1 some elements and stages of the research methodology. As we can observe, we uh, have a valid sample volume of 1,063 people. Analysis procedure, descriptive statistic analysis, frequency of responses, response preferences and factor analysis. Our study was between November 2019 and April 2020. Data processing consists in IBM SPSS application. Concerning results and discussion, the questionnaire included 20 questions. So as we established, we have 1,033 respondents. Conclusions. We had four conclusions. The first one, the results, the university students and graduates heavy work investment is instilled into them ever since childhood through the education they receive from their family. Second one, the university students and graduates heavy work investment is generated by the influences exerted by the environment, such as the fear of feeling embarrassed in front of others. The third one, in the study participants' opinion, 
heavy work investment has highly negative effects on their psychological health, which is a deeply harmful phenomenon. And finally, the fourth conclusion, the research results have invalidated that the fact that university students and graduates invest in work out of their own need as educated people who want their role plays a role in social usefulness to be acknowledged by others. A limitation of our research consists in the fact that have not dealt with the deeply negative effects on the pandemic crisis on workaholism, especially that it has been proven that men can adapt extremely fast to anything, even to working in other conditions imposed by working from home due to digitization. So, it's very simple to see that working from home due to di digitization is a new form of workaholism. Finally, we are thanking you and muito obrigada, muito obrigado for your attention.